first thing that we're going to do for this recipe is I'm going to use these bowls here only because it's going to be easier for me to mix everything in. We are going to add the whole pouch of the gelatin, the red one. I'm using the six ounce. You can use two of the three ounce. Whatever you can find, whatever flavor you have. I am using the cherry. You can use strawberry. Now we're going to use one envelope of the Knox gelatin, unflavored. Okay, and then we're going to add the boiling water and we're going to dissolve it. Okay, and I'm going to show you the vessels that I'm going to use. I had showed the other day, I had gotten these at the Dollar Tree. They come six pieces. They're called mini square bowls. Okay, and this is what they look like. Hope you can see that. Or if you want to get a bit fancier, you can just use one of these uh, water glasses. Uh, do whatever whatever you like. They will look better in clear bowls, of course, so you want them to be able to see the design. So we are going to pour our jello into these little bowls. I'm going to start with these. I just thought it was easier to pour them with this container. You got to leave enough room to for the three layers and then maybe some whipped cream on top. Okay, so we filled these. Now these are going to go into the refrigerator for about 30 minutes until these set. In the meantime, we are going to work on the white layer, the second layer. Okay, so let's get working on that. Okay, we're going to start with the next step. We're going to take a little bowl and we are going to add two envelopes of the Knox Unflavored Gelatin. And we are going to sprinkle some water. We're just going to break it up and then we're going to let it sit for a minute so that it can hydrate. Okay, in the next step we're going to take our sweetened condensed milk, pour it into a bowl, and we are going to mix it with one cup of boiling water. And once you have that incorporated, okay, we're going to take some boiling water and add it to the gelatin so that it can loosen it up. And we're going to mix this together. Okay, we're going to get our jello from the refrigerator and we're going to pour this on top. Alright, I transferred the liquid to a measuring cup just so that it makes it easier to pour. And then we're going to pour the next layer. Okay, they're filled now. There's still room enough for the next layer. So I'm going to pop these in the refrigerator. It's going to take about 30 minutes. In the meantime, we will get the next jello ready. Okay, guys, now we're going to do the last uh, jello. I have the hot water here. We're going to add in our, our Knox gelatin and our blue jello. Add the hot water. Okay, and then we're just going to pour them into our vessels. Okay, now we're just going to pop these back into the refrigerator and I will be back to finish the process. Okay, everybody, we're going to finish off the jello. They are completely firm, they are completely set up. As you can see, Look at how cute that looks. Look at this. And now I'm going to spruce them up just a little bit more for presentation. I'm going to take some uh, whipped cream, just the, the little canned whipped cream, and I'm going to put some on top. Okay, and if you want to spruce them up even more, what you can do is take some sprinkles and sprinkle the top with the red, white, and blue and just make them look super pretty. It's amazing how a little sprinkle just changes your whole look to a dessert. And then if you want to add some white ones, you can. You might not see them too well because of the whipped cream, but that's okay. And then to top it off, we just put a little flag. Look at that, how cute that looks. And there is your 
4th of July dessert. Look at that guys, how pretty. With the little flag. And look at this one. That's so cute. Okay, I'm going to prop them up here for presentation. How I'm going to present them. I'm just going to put them up on this cake platter. I'm just going to put the small ones up here. And there we go. Look at how pretty that looks. And then you have these bigger ones. How sweet. All right, guys, let's give these a taste. Okay, everybody, we're going to give this a taste. I'm just going to take the little flag off. Aren't they the cutest things? Mmm, mmm, mmm. That blueberry jello is good. And then the whipped cream. I want to taste the condensed milk. Mmm, very good. These are very good, guys. I knew they would be. I mean, who can go wrong with jello and whipped cream? Delicious. But mainly it's presentation. The presentation, I wanted to show you another way to present them than the way I see them on the internet. Just use your imagination, guys. There's a million ways you can do things. Uh, you don't have to be stuck to just one thing. Okay, guys, that's going to conclude the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making this for you. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the description down below, and I will get back with you, and I will leave all the ingredients for the recipe in the description box below. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.